It was day two of my journey through the world of spellcasting. Later, I was going to perform my ever magical ritual and dedicate the bowl I'd made. But first, I had to collect some water to put in it. Not from a tap, of course, but from a natural source. So, Nigel, I've got my little bottle. Yep. And this is the water, the running water, the veins of the goddess, if you will. Water, the element of emotion. And uh, you're going to be collecting the water now for use in the dedication ritual for the bowl. Right. You should think of capturing that power of the water. Okay. Remember, it's water that's carved up from the mountains, this, this lovely stream. Okay. Contain That's it. it. That's it. <laughs> okay. And you've captured the essence of water in there. That's very, very powerful. That's going to be spectacularly good for use in ritual. Oh, good. Carefully collected magical water in my hand, we headed for the site Zeldi and Nigel had chosen. It was a Neolithic stone circle, a sort of mini Stonehenge that had probably seen untold numbers of magical rituals performed over thousands of years. I'd come to dedicate my magic bowl, and for some reason I thought I was going to be reading a script, a set of magical words that meant something special and had power of their own. So I was kind of stunned when Zeldi and Nigel told me I had to make it up myself. But apparently that was all part of the magic. Now, the words that come from you... I don't know what to say. Okay. I, okay. What you've got to bear in mind is you've captured that essence of that power. You're now dedicating that power to your purpose whatever that may be. Right. And it's now up to you. Oh, you're joking. OK. No. I'm not quite sure where to start, but should I address the element or the... Yes. ...direction? Or Both. <laughs> Both. Imagine they're the same that thing. That direction is the west, it's the domain of water. The guardians of water are in the west. OK. They want to know what you want to do with your your vessel. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, shall I just try it? Yes. Okay. Just go for so it. Go for it. Will you prompt me if I get it wrong? Yes, of course. OK. So, shall I say, Guardians of the West, I've brought to you my vessel and my water, um, and I, I dedicate these items to you and ask, please, that you bring into these items uh, the, I'm not going all right so far. Brilliant. Okay, thank you. Uh, and, and ask, please, that you bring into these items and into my life the qualities of, um, in case of watery, sort of, the, uh, the quality of compassion. Each of the four quarters represents the home of a different element in magic. North is earth, south is fire, east is air, and west is water. According to witchcraft theory, the magical elements are the basis of everything in life. So for any spell to be effective, a witch first has to be able to connect with these elemental forces and then, through her will, direct them to bring about the change she's seeking. The dedication ritual refocused on the connection with the natural world and the respect that Wiccans feel for nature. It was an attitude not that different from the environmentalist one. So what you're going to need to do is to pour some water in there. Yeah dedicate it. The, I dedicate this vessel to the power of magic and to the power of compassion and to express my thanks to the earth, I return the water to the earth. I dedicate this vessel to the power of magic. I thank this sacred space for allowing us to perform our ritual here today and with thanks I return the water to the earth. water will soak through and eventually end up back in the sea. It's very poetic. It's a lovely moment. It is. After Nigel and Zeldi left, I sat alone in the circle for a while. My first experiences of witchcraft had been completely different from any idea of it I might have got from movies or the media. Even though I hadn't seen any jaw-dropping magic, I was beginning to understand witchcraft without the Hollywood special effects. 
After spending a week with witches, Zelda and Nigel, I really wanted to try some magic myself. So I've decided to do some research of my own. But this could take forever and I've only a few weeks left. So luckily I've arranged to meet a two-brained expert. He's Britain's leading authority in witchcraft. So perhaps he can tell me what his research uncovered about the secrets of effective spell casting. The magical groups uh, whom I've studied tend to have an above average success rate for their spell casting because on the whole they don't tend to work against the grain of nature. They don't ask for the impossible. Where they seem to have a particularly significant and interesting result is if the natural course is not happening. Say somebody is in a coma and should be responding to the treatment but isn't. Or somebody should be enjoying success with all the efforts in, but something uncanny is blocking them. In other words, in cases where some strange force seems to be holding back the natural course of events, mm -hmm. the spell casting does seem to remove the block, whatever it is. Now, whether this is an amazing piling up of coincidence, or whether there actually is something happening here I don't understand, I cannot tell, but these are the circumstances in which magic seems to work particularly well. My friend Caroline has a problem. She's very scared of snakes. Now, for the average Londoner, that might not matter much, as you don't see too many of them around. But I've got a pet python called Ken, and Caroline's spooked whenever she comes around to my place to visit. Worse still, though, she's supposed to be off on holiday to Australia, but she's really worried about having a scary, snaky sure? encounter. Are you sure? No, I, I need, to, need to conquer it. All right, so I'm going to make these muffins. Because the other is that if you say all along that my intention is I'm doing this recipe as a spell and the purpose of this is, um, you know, I want my friend Carolyn to feel less freaked out by snakes. And the, the whole time you're doing it, that's sort of in your mind. That is a spell, you know. Okay. When I was little, my granddad used to come around and do the gardening. Yeah. And he used to get handfuls of, like, the little worms and it's, sort of, you know, don't hold them. I'm like, uh, no, I don't think so. Ah, this is so nice of you to be my guinea pig. In goes the, the time. Apparently, um, it's, it's meant to promote bravery. So how long does it take after I've eaten them to take effect? When should I start That's to feel question. brave? The effect can be immediate, so are you up for that? Are you up for... Can of visit. Yeah. Okay. Oh, thanks. <laughs> I'm really sorry to put you through this in the name of research and practice. I wonder if I should be saying some sort of thing while I do this. I've made these muffins today for the purpose of helping Caroline to overcome her fear of snakes so that she can go to Australia next year and enjoy her trip. Um, I really sincerely want this to work, so please, when she eats these muffins, let them help her to find the bravery she already has inside her to overcome her fear. Muffins looked great, oh. but were they magic? Yeah, they're quite nice. They smell quite nice. Come on then. Right. Like Here it goes. And then are you filling up for a visit up to mm, well, Ken? Yeah, we'll see. Okay. <laughs> are you sure you're alright? Um, more nervous now walking towards this room because <laughs> I know it's in here. <laughs> Hello. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm so glad. Oh, I'm really sorry. Well, shall I get him out? And yeah. then you see how you feel. Okay. You don't have to do it. I honestly, I would never ever force you to. Maybe we've been way too fast with this. Maybe we should. Oh, Caroline, I'm so sorry. This is horrible. <laughs> he doesn't usually do that. How are you feeling? Not great. The hissing noise didn't help, really. You know what? It's more like a breathing. Do you want to come sit? Okay, if his head's over that way. Okay, make sure his head keeps facing that way. Is this about as far as you would have gone before anyway? Well, yeah, to maximum, complete maximum. It's coming over here. Sorry, if I keep <laughs> Ken's head over here, 
Do you want to try holding his back? Oh, it looks all slimy underneath. Hey, it's honestly not like Phil underneath. It's it not slimy, it's just it. a different colour. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> He's quite heavy. I'm feeling think? quite confident, actually. Are you? Because I wouldn't have done this. Wow. I really wouldn't. I'm absolutely delighted. I don't know yeah. if it is, you know, the spell or whether it's... I know I've... Psychology, I think it's working. That something's been done. Or whether it is actually working. This is something I never thought I'd say. <laughs> Result! And feeling intrigued by my first apparent magical success, I headed off to witch country for my next lesson. So, next step in witchcraft quest is I've got to make my own wand, just like Seldon and Nigel told me. So I've come here to glorious Somerset to meet Kevin Saunders, who's a witch. We're going to go into the woods, we're going to find a special stick that talks to me, apparently, and then we're going to make a wand. Can't wait. Hello. Hello, I'm Jane. Nice oh, to meet you. Lovely to meet you. Thank you so much for coming to help me with it's my this. My pleasure. Oh, I'm excited. So, woods this way. So, start this way. Excellent. Yes, you got your stick hunting gear. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Before Kevin became a witch, he was an environmental activist. He even stood for Parliament as a Green Party um, candidate. Really then, eight years ago, he was initiated into uh, Wicca, and he became a high priest in 1999. He seemed the ideal um, person to help me find my yeah. wand. So what sort of stick should I be looking for? I know I've been told that it should be one that speaks to me. But it's very much a matter of finding something that you feel right with. Right. Um, I mean, your birth tree is actually the oak. Oh, is it? Um, which is a really powerful and sacred tree in, in pagan circles. Um, right. But you don't really necessarily have to have an oak. Uh, the important thing is what feels right to you. Right. I think one of the things you need to remember about ones is that it's just a tool. It's a, a, a means for directing the energies. And the energy doesn't necessarily come from the wand. I it comes see. through you. What are these trees over here? I'm terrible at recognising well, those got, trees. We've got a, quite a mixture of trees along here. We've got some okay. oak back down there. Yep. Uh, we've got ash, willow, hawthorn, hazel, and uh, all sorts of other things. What's this? This is... some of this might be. Yeah, looking at the... the uh, ends here. The, uh -huh. the black buds on there sort of make it pretty clear that that's probably ash. Oh really? Okay. Uh, which is a nice feminine really? nice strong tree. Oh. Oak, ash and thorn uh, are three trees that are very special in, in most pagan parts. Some of this here might suit you really well. And we've got some nice hazel coppice here which is nice and straight. Or perhaps some pieces yeah. here that we could use. Uh, it's, it's already broken off so we won't be hurting the tree. How does be. that feel to you? It feels nice. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to listen for trees talking to me and I don't know if I'm hearing anything. Maybe you should just spend a couple of moments just meditating with the tree or something like that. To see should you. I? Yeah. So, I mean, I guess it would be between this hazel and that nice ash over there. Okay. Well, the choice is know. yours. Okay. I don't know. There was a sweet little bird that hopped onto the ash over there. It was makes gorgeous, me think yeah. maybe. Maybe it was a nice, it was a nice nature moment. It was moment. a sign, was it? I'm wondering if, oh, I don't know, I'm, I'm grasping at straws here because otherwise I don't know how to make the decision. So I left him and went over to spend a few moments with the ash tree to see if it really was going to talk to me. I wonder what it might have to say.